seven top myths which are stopping you to become an automation tester in this video i'm going to discuss about all of them one by one this is going to be a super important video for anyone who want to jump from manual to automation make sure you watch the video till the end because i'm discussing about the problem that you already have which is basically related to mindset most of them right so these myths i think uh should be busted right it should be busted by someone who has experience and someone who has done this thing right so let's get started and let's discuss what are these top seven myths that's basically stopping you to become an automation tester all right so there is an overall myth in the market that you have to know heavy 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 data structure to basically switch to automation guys this is not true basically even when i have started right when i was a manual tester right i was learning about the automation right so i to be honest but i have learned so overall in java right core java design patterns collection framework and after that very very few things related to some of the design patterns after that i have completely switched to the selenium where i was able to contribute more even in interview also generally people don't ask interviewer don't ask a heavy data structure but at least you should have a knowledge about how array list works how array list hash map and how like these are collection framework related things right that i'm talking about so no heavy data structure this is a truth right but you should have some knowledge right i know many of you are basically stopped or you don't want to become an automation tester because you think that there is a heavy data structure that you don't understand and you have to code them trust me no this is not true right let's come to the second one which is only manual tester can become an automation tester guys this is not true i have seen we have hired also direct freshers to the automation this is also possible i have seen this multiple times this is there is no way if you are a fresher if you are watching right now you can become a direct automation tester that is also fine because generally whenever you join a company right as a fresher they will give you some important points related to manual testing also i am also teaching whoever joined as a fresher right i am also teaching them right related to the some of the manual concepts but it is not mandatory that only manual tester can become an automation tester it is not mandatory at all third important point which is known it background people cannot become an automation tester this is actually i don't know why this is a myth across overall market i have seen few of my students who are doing bpo jobs now switch to automation there are people uh, there was a, some person in i think in uk right who basically was a waiter my student who switched to automation after some, like seven year gap and all. so known it people if you are uh, from a known it branch like mechanical electronics another one right i am also electronics and communication i right now i am an automation tester so you know it can be done you can become an automation tester there is no problem in this case right if you are stopped because that you are under confident that okay i don't have it degree i cannot switch to automation this is not true another fourth myth is only by learning selenium i can become an automation tester right i don't know why but people actually are confused right they don't follow a proper road map for an automation tester i think i have shared this road map to become an automation tester for four and five months i have discussed about what are the important topics that you should know guys pay attention to the topics because i have included a overall journey right you have to know software testing basics api testing basics api automation then you have a web automation where selenium is a just a this part of that overall roadmap after that you have ci cd things that you need to take care you when you become a test architect right you have to know about the scalability maintainability right how you will basically run your 10000 plus test cases by using selenium grid and all that thing also you have to know yes so there is a lots of lots of scope in the automation only if you are focusing on only i will learn selenium and i will become an automation tester this is also not true right please pay attention to the ci cd things scalability maintainability and there are number of tools which are new coming in the market they are more better as compared to the selenium itself so i would say go ahead learn those tools learn those skills right and follow a proper road map that i have basically already discussed over my channel go to the youtube slash testing academy you will see a road map to become an automation tester follow that now another interesting myth generally people have is after seven year i cannot become an automation tester because i have a seven years of manual testing i think nobody will basically uh, give me an opportunity to become an automation tester. this is not true completely not true i have seen people 12 years and 10 years after manual doing a manual testing they basically followed a proper low road map for four and a five months and are they have basically learn about the core concept of java core java collection framework design pattern and right right after six months of training four five six months they are able to switch to automation yes i have seen this multiple times so there is no way even if you have a career gap you can become an automation tester there is no myth on this case all right automation testing is too difficult i know this is especially for a manual tester who hate coding 
or they have a fear of coding, right? Trust me, many of my students have already done this. I have also done it, right? When I was learning manual testing, right? I switched to uh, API testing first, then I was able to switch to automation. Still, I have a fear of coding, but I can do coding because I have done practice. If you increase your level of practice, you will be able to switch to automation. So yes, automation testing is a little difficult, but it's not that too difficult as compared to development job, DevOps jobs and all, okay? Disclaimer, you cannot become a automation tester if you hate coding, right? This is a disclaimer, this is not a myth. Please don't hate coding or a programming, right? You have to do more practice, that's it. Programming and coding need more practice. If you do more practice, right, uh, within a span of six months or seven months, you will be able to do it. Trust me, you will. If you have a fear of coding, right, practice and basically choose a proper roadmap. Do more practice, that's how you will be able to do it. Do some live project, practice of coding, as well as follow a proper roadmap. These three steps and you will be able to become an automation tester. That's I think that I have done it. You can also do it. So the reason I'm basically telling you all this is overall these myths, these are completely myths guys. Freshers can also become an automation tester. Known IT people with career gap also can become an automation tester. Only thing is following a proper roadmap, cracking the interview, right? And doing the practice. These are the three important things. Trust me, you will be able to do it. And I really want you to be do it in next year. I think the only thing which is stopping you right now is your mind. Because you have to just change your mindset. Trust me, you will be able to do it. All right. I hope this is enough motivation. Many of you are saying that I create lots of negative videos. I think this is a motivation video about the myths. Trust me, you will be able to do it. I'll see you on the live classes. If you have got some value, please give me a like and subscribe. Please share this video with someone who need this video. Please share that. Okay. And give me part two in the comment. I will create more videos like this. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.